Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today because obviously by the title and by my makeup, I did a St. Patrick's Day look and I got creative. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited because I never ever ever play with color. A couple weeks ago, I got the Morphe 35B palette and I was like, I'm dying to play with some color. So I figured that this was the perfect opportunity. I'm really excited. My backdrop's totally messed up right now. Dude, I like totally gave up on it. I was trying to fix the clip so there were no wrinkles and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get to the filming. So I'm really excited though because I don't have the glittery sparkle background and I feel like this is so much more me and I got a couple of other backdrops. I'm filming at my vanity, so I'm really excited about that too because I'm a lot more, I don't know, comfortable and at ease and everything's just super accessible so I feel like I can play with more makeup. Aside from all of that stuff, um, I really don't have anything else to say in my intro spiel, but happy St. Patrick's Day. Make sure that you are safe and you do not drink and drive. And to see how I got this look, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Anyway, I am going to use some colors from the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries palette. And then what I'm doing is going in with the colors Gala and Splurge. So Gala is this color right here, and then Splurge is this color right here. I'm going to first apply Gala, and then after that's on, I will blend in Splurge into the crease. That way I have a good transition blending it overall everywhere that made no sense <laughs> blending it everywhere i'm gonna go in with one more color before i get into the like big shebang part of my eyeshadow so i'm going to use a stunner from the same palette and i got the wrong brush so there's a little bit of brown but that's okay because we're gonna use some concealer to cover that now for the fun part, I am going to start a cut crease. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to do the crease. I've been doing cut creases lately. Like not filming wise, but just in general, um, I've been doing more cut creases. I pretty much did a cut crease for the entire lid. And now I'm gonna go in with the shadow. Super excited to use this palette. This is the Morphe 35B. So it's full of colors. I'm gonna go in with this lightest green right here. And I'm using a concealer brush. Just going to apply that on the center of the lid. That is such a pretty color. Like legitimately, this is such a freaking pretty green. So far, that's what the uh, neon lime, I don't know, lime green looks like. I'm going to go in with this green. This is more of like a matte and darker version of the first one I used. Okay, now picking up that green, just going to put that in between, not completely on the outer corner, but in between the outer corner and the center. Now that that's over and done with, I'm going to go in with the darkest shadow, which is this one right here. And then just applying that to the outer corner. And then another technique that I found helpful is patting it into the lid. So I'm going to blend out this shadow. I'm going to use a tiny little brush. And something that I do find helpful is actually using my finger and going back in with that greenish one, lime green. They're all green, girl. That lime green one. So my top shadow is pretty much done. I really, really, really like it, actually. Now I'm going to go in for the lower lash line. I'm going to pick up the neon lime green color and put that on the outer part. You know what? I'm going to use the... The concealer brush I used actually that picked up really nicely so I'm putting that middle green color in the middle dude I'm totally gonna love this makeup look and then going in with the darker green
So now for the inner eye part, I'm going to use some setting spray. I'm using the Mario Badescu spray and I'm putting it on a flat wet and wild brush. I'm going to go in with the best color suitable for this look. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this one. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter. Uh, trophy wife. Dude, this is going to look so effing good. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Like, that is so freaking pretty. I want to pick it up a little bit with my finger just because there's one part that's not quite blending. Dude, this looks so freaking good. Like, oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. And then I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line right here just because I want it to be, I don't know, extra. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. So today I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. We're just going to go for it. Lately I have been digging the whole like not halfway through the line. I mean halfway through the eyelid. But I have been digging going to like just right here. Instead of doing eyeliner all the way in here, you know? Okay, so I just popped on some falsies. These are Dodo Lashes, of course. And these are the style, I think they're D308 or 307. Anyway, I am using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And just going to put that on my lashes. Blend those in with the falsies. This palette is so bomb. Anywho, because I'm going to be going to bed after this, I'm not going to do like the whole hardcore prime, but I am going to put on some Morphe setting spray. For foundation, I am using the Milani Conceal, Perfect, Conceal and Perfect. I'm using the color Light Beige. And then I was going to use a beauty blender, but I'm kind of lazy to go get up and wash it. So I'm just going to use this oval brush. Oh my god, and I got a new friend. Dude, it looks terrible. I so told myself I wasn't going to pick at it, and I picked at it. Like, at least I don't have it, like, on my cheek or something. Like, ooh, that would totally, totally suck. Okay, and the only concealer I have right now, I'm kind of SOL, is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm running out of that one. So that kind of sucks, but... I am going to go by the Makeup Revolution concealer because I'm really curious to know what it's like. And I'm going to use the other side of the Beauty Blender because the pointy side is the one that I need to clean. And I just don't feel like going to the bathroom right now to do that. Just blending out this concealer. Now as far as setting powder, I am using the Airspun Translucent Powder Per Use. Put that all over. All over. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cracked myself up. My face is completely set. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powdered Bronzer. This is in Rosewood. I don't want to put it on that pimple because, girl, we do not want that thing to pop out more. Like, this thing just works so bomb. Although I go a little too hard on the paint. Sometimes. For blush, I am using the Real Hair Beauty Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. I think I'm going to use Fearless. That one's my favorite. I'm getting a Morphe Blush Brush. Just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. So I was a little skeptic on what highlight I wanted to use today, but I'm going to use two. So I'm going to go in, oh my god, look at how disastrous that is. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chroma Highlight, and this is in Molten Gold. Okay. So that's pretty much what my highlight looks like. But, damn, it looks good. But I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the Fenty Beauty highlighter and be a little more gold. 
seen that looks really good. I already did this, but I'm just gonna kind of go over it because I just recorded it and it came out super blurry. It was so not in focus. Basically just putting the two highlights on this little brush and putting it on the arch. I need to blend it out though. And the inner eye highlight. Okay, I think it's safe to be able to put mascara on the bottom lashes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I want them to be super dramatic. Now for my lips, I'm gonna go in with like a brown lippy. So of course I'm gonna use the Anastasia palette. I'm actually just gonna go in with one color right here and this is number eight. Okay, so I already put some setting spray and this is pretty much it. Oh my goodness, I am actually so totally in love with this look. Like, I'm super going to do this for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, I'm trying to be a little bit more active on my YouTube channel and get really involved and get creative, so I'm glad I was able to do that. I feel a lot more comfortable filming at my vanity, so I think I found the new kick it spot to film my tooth and... Yeah, so I will see you guys in my next tutorial. And don't forget to have given this a thumbs up and subscribe. And whoever you are that's constantly giving my video a thumbs down literally as soon as I post it, thank you. Because that means you're just giving me more views. So I will see you guys later. Bye.